Hey, it's time to answer a question on a topic that a lot of people are asking right now, and I'm going to do it right now in this video. It's, how can I work? How can I get paid? How can I take care of my kids? All right, so uh, that's harder to do than I thought. Uh, welcome to the channel. My name's Jabbo. The channel's Brickzar. I like Lego, and I got a Lego haul from lego.com, and I'm standing in a brick link store and uh, like everyone else this morning um well not like everyone else i didn't find out to him and our productions told me but i because i didn't log into bricklink this morning but wow they just got acquired by the lego group so does that mean i'm a lego employee now no <laughs> i don't know what's going to happen and there's going to be a lot of discussion in the community about this in the coming days we're all hope we all hope that it'll be something good. I as I always worry anytime a bigger company buys a smaller company, uh, it's that's usually bad for the people that in the existing company. And while we're not employees of Bricklink, we're all independent sellers. Uh, I there could be things that affect us. I'm hoping it's not going to be like that. I'm hoping we don't have increased fees because uh, that's the one thing that Bricklink, uh, since a lot of the fans in the community were the ones that would contribute to the inventories and things like that it kept the fees low <laughs> it's been three percent forever uh, compared to bricklink i mean compar comparing bricklink to ebay which is you know crazy uh, percent that they get and they always seem to raise it and there's no listing fees with bricklink uh, it's just a three percent of your sales i mean that's it's easy <laughs> um so i i don't know what's going to happen um, but I, I am worried, uh, as anything it, with any kind of change, but we'll try to be optimistic, optimistic about it. Um, cause Lego is a good company. I've always said a lot of good things about Lego. I've just had some problems with the promos and it's interesting though, that Bricklink sellers in the past, I don't know how it is now, but in the past, Lego kind of looked negatively at some of the sellers. Uh, yeah, I mean, to the point, sometimes they would blacklist somebody or, hey, you can't buy from us no more. Like, if you were buying too much. As Clutch used to say, uh, you buy so much, they don't want your money anymore. <laughs> so, I I um, I don't know how it's going to be. I've uh, Pretty much the way the, the prices are in the stores, it's usually only beneficial to get the promos. Because you can almost, almost always find things cheaper on other sites unless there's... Lego store exclusives, Lego.com exclusives, or whatever. Uh, but this is this is from the um, the beginnings of Black Friday. Um, I just had one thing that I want this week is the Batmobile that comes out Friday. But I said, well, if they have a a good offer with the promotions, I'll get that. So uh, let's see. All right. And so I, uh, yeah, this is the other thing I worry about is that like. If they don't like people, they can't not like, Lego can't not like sellers now. They, they have to like the Bricklink sellers as part of the company. Because it's like, they now they have a, a a record of all of us. They know all of us now. And it's like, they got that database, like they know who all the sellers are. Um, and they can say, hey, you can't buy, we're going to limit what you can buy from Lego.com. But Because um, one thing, I've been adding this to all my orders, the VIP uh, it's 500 points, so every time I place a Lego.com order, I order one of these. Because 500 points is just a few dollars, I think, as far as VIP points worth. And there's like $34 worth of parts in there. So I got that. That was one of the freebies. Um, oh, the brick built brick. Uh, you had to buy $200 worth uh, to get the brick built brick. All right. And then the tree. This will definitely be parted out. 400 pieces. I don't have any use for this other than the parts. So that was all free. All that was free. And then the one thing. I only bought one thing to get all that. And you've probably already seen it. But I bought this. And how appropriate... <laughs> Between what's happening with YouTube 
and uh, the initial fear and worries that some have in the BrickLink community with the Lego acquiring BrickLink, it's like, welcome to Apocalypse, Berg! The new reality. Because I, I remember when the, the co whole COPPA thing went down, I was like, well, if my YouTube dies, it's like, at least I got BrickLink. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, I want to thank everybody that's supported me over the years uh, through comments, watching the videos. Uh, it's, I think we're going to be all right with um, making videos going forward. I'm not too terribly worried about it. I got a poll on my community tab, so if you haven't checked out the poll on my community tab, uh, please go over there and put your age. Um, I don't need to know. It's anonymous. I don't need to know who it is and how old you are. I just need you to put on there and so we've seen what percentage so we're pretty good on this channel <laughs> i knew it was an older audience for the most part trains are i'm actually a little surprised um he's got over it, currently the last time i checked over 60 percent of his viewers are between the ages of 13 and 17 uh, i actually thought it might even be a little younger so i think i'm gonna be all right on that channel too I haven't done a poll on my original Lego, I mean, YouTube channel, but maybe I'll do that. I need to do that before the end of the month or before the end of the year. Because um, they, they, you need to have, the way I'm looking at it, you need to have proof that you're not targeting kids. So that's about pages, that's tags, that's descriptions. Um, you know, and I did put kid friendly and things like that in a lot of videos, even on this channel. I'm going through and removing all those because I don't want it to come across that that's what I was targeting. I was just using that as a tag because my videos are kid friendly and family friendly <laughs> and they will always be that no matter what happens. But um, yeah, Apocalypseburg, very appropriate. I only need one piece out of this set. It's a little neck brace that goes on, I think on a, uh, what's his name, Danger Vest, or one of these guys. Uh, but I already got this set. It's got a 600 and something dollar part out value. It's crazy. So um, that's what I got to get the free stuff. Anyway, I hope this isn't um, bad news with Lego. I hope it's good news. And um, hey, if it maybe it'll give us some deals or access to things we didn't have before. Maybe quicker access to the inventories where you can import them straight into BrickLink. I don't know. Could be some good things. Ah, but we will see. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next videos.